Hey Sam, this is Dan Russo. In this video I'm going to cover five critical issues I found with your website that I believe are costing you customers and money. A quick overview of the issues. Issue number one is you have a brochure website, not a direct response site. Issue two is you're not addressing all types of site visitors. Issue three, you're not using benefits to sell. Issue number four, you're not taking full advantage of inbound marketing. And issue number five is uh, just some issues with your overall website design. And so I've got your website pulled up here, and I'm just going to go through each one of these issues one by one. The first one that I mentioned is you have a brochure website. And what I mean by that is you've got a website here with you know your logo, with uh, images, with information on your services, um, and then you've got more information here on what you do pages with information on uh, each one of these services broken down special offers and a contact us page so currently your website does um, about as much as your regular average brochure does it doesn't do anything to to sell and the best way that I can describe the difference between a direct response website and your brochure website is to use the example of a salesperson you know, if you hire a salesperson and, and someone calls into your company and all the salesperson does is uh, provide them with information, that salesperson wouldn't be very efficient and he'd be uh, letting a lot of leads, a lot of callers fall through the fall through the system that you had paid for and never convert into customers. And, uh, you know, a good salesperson, along with your website to be a good uh, sales website that produces leads out of these visitors what they need to do is a couple of things uh, number one they need to uncover and address the problems that your uh, visitors are having and and see how you can solve these problems for your visitors and so currently you know your website talks a lot about um, talks a lot about appliances for example here but it doesn't talk very much about the reasons why uh, someone would want new appliances or would want appliance repair and the benefits of getting new appliances or appliance repair and so for example what your website should should do is it should uh, talk about the problems that typically people have so maybe their appliances are unreliable and it's costing them uh, grocery money because their groceries are going bad or different things like that um, or you know just the headache all the time with appliances that constantly don't work or it's costing them um, you know a lot in energy bills every single month and so talk about these uh, the problems and how uh, your services will solve these problems for people um, you know secondly uh, why choose you over the com why choose you over competitors someone that's interested in um, installing a new HVAC system or getting new appliances they're probably gonna be looking at you know maybe two to three other companies in the San Diego area and a good salesperson along with a website that produces visitors into leads what it will do will talk about uh, reasons to choose you over competitors and lastly, uh, you know what a direct response site does over a brochure website is it gets visitors to take specific actions toward um, toward becoming new customers because not everyone visiting the site is going to be ready to pick up the phone and call you right away. And I'll talk more about this last one here in a bit. But overall, your brochure website, you know, you know is costing you uh, leads because people are coming on here after they see the ads that you had paid for and they're coming on here reading a little bit of information and just leaving without ever being sold to so that was issue number one issue number two is you're not addressing all site visitors and so like I had said you know you're gonna have people come into your site and they're gonna be ready to pick up the phone and call you and, and get an estimate and and get you guys going and for those people they're gonna you know you've got your phone over here in large font and so you're doing a great job of addressing those people and you've also got a contact us page um, but you're going to have a large portion of people coming to the site after they see your ads and they're going to be people that are interested but maybe they're still in their initial research uh, phase so they're not going to call you uh, maybe they're interested but they're interested in um, in starting the work months down the line and you know they're going to be thinking well I'm gonna save up some money and I'll call this company months down the line or so and chances are they'll never come back to your site and they'll never call you 
and so you know your site isn't doing anything to address these visitors and so you're paying for them to come to your site but they're just coming on here and leaving and so what you want to do for these visitors is you want to capture their name and their email and use automated tools to build a relationship with them and sell to them uh, in the future when they are ready this is called lead nurturing and to do this what you would do is you would um, provide them with some form of free valuable information in exchange for their name and their email so you know just off the top of my head what you might do uh, here on your HVAC system website is you might provide uh, five tips on how to save um, save thousands of dollars on a new HVAC installation in 2014 and you know you'd be surprised at just how many people visiting your site will uh, give their name and their email in exchange for this information because it addresses exactly what they're it addresses exactly what they're looking for the exact reason why they came to your site and um, so you uh, you're able to um, collect their information and put it into an automated system where you're building a relationship with them via email and also getting their phone the phone number for your for your sales guys and then sell to them when they are ready or nurture them and get them to the point where they will be ready to to purchase from you uh, issue number three is you're not using benefits to sell and I talked a lot about this earlier with the salesperson example but you know on your website you've got two to three seconds to capture the attention of your site visitors before they leave and so currently you know someone coming on your site they're gonna they're gonna see they're gonna see this they're gonna see this appliance service and repair this information here and you know the phone number down here and a photo of your vans and that's that's about it you know that's two to three seconds what you really want to do is you want to use this real estate which is the most valuable real estate you have on your website to really stress the benefits um, and hook these people and get them so that they do not leave your website and you want to try to elicit you know like a deep emotional response out of these people why do people buy uh, new appliances in the first place well it may be out of uh, frustration with their old appliances it may be due to their old appliances um, costing them hundreds of dollars in energy bills every sing extra energy bills every single month and so this is what you should be focusing on um, another another thing to do, especially here on your homepage, is have testimonials. Uh, you know, if you can get pictures of your cust with your customers, with testimonials, and testimonials that really talk about how you were able to solve problems for people or how you're able to save them money. Uh, those testimonials are very powerful in building trust with these visitors that have come onto your site after seeing your ad and um, showing these visitors that you're able to that you have solved issues of people just like them before in the past so that was issue number three number four is you're not taking advantage of inbound marketing and inbound marketing has uh, a lot of different facets a lot of different areas the one I'll talk about is blogging uh, I don't see anywhere here on your website where you're blogging and you know a lot of companies have a wrong um, wrong perception of what blogging is all that a blog really is it's it's an opportunity for you to uh, address the problems that your customer base is having and provide solutions for these problems and I'll give you an example a while back I was having a uh, dental problem and so I searched uh, this San Diego and then this, this particular dental problem and I came across a uh, website of a dentist and he was blogging uh, about this about this issue and he provided he provided very very valuable information to me on how I can uh, manage the pain in the meantime uh, with this problem and how I can get a solution to this problem um, through his services and what that did is two things what that did for him number one is it established him as an expert in my eyes you know finding this information exactly about my problem and him uh, providing good valuable information on how to manage and solve this problem set him up as an expert in my eyes when I was reading it and number two is it got him a new visitor and uh, eventually a new a new client that and um, so those are the two benefits that you, you you can see from blogging and you know everyone's always talking about SEO these days and it's such a catchphrase and everyone's talking about how as a company you need to be doing SEO 
Well, I'll tell you that most SEO companies are doing um, SEO unethically and they're trying to manipulate results. The only way to really get SEO results, get top rankings, is by uh, blogging uh, valuable information that gets people into your site and gets them to stay on your site. So that was issue four. Issue number five is just some overall website design issues. Uh, you know you have a pretty outdated layout. This is what I would call an early 2000s style layout. So a lot of people coming to your site are going to get an impression, um, kind of that impression. It's not the most professional uh, design or layout. And uh, secondly, uh, this is what your website looks like on a computer. And this is what it looks like on a mobile phone. You know, it's the same website. And so many people are on their Androids and their iPhones and going to websites on, or, you know, are on their iPads now. And, uh, you know, this website is really hard to navigate and to use from these devices. And so one thing that I'd highly recommend is getting a responsive layout. So you have a new layout. And really you'll kill two birds with, two birds with one stone. You'll get a new design that's very professional, very modern. And you also get something that works on mobile devices and tablets that is easy for your, uh, your visitors to use and to navigate. So I've covered the five critical issues that I found with your site. And you're probably wondering at this point, what are the benefits of fixing these issues? Well, to go over the benefits, I'm going to use my infograph. And the first one I'll start with is inbound marketing. Uh, inbound generates revenue. 57% of companies that blog have acquired customers who, through their blog. So that's the first benefit of inbound marketing. Uh, inbound marketing also costs less. If we look at the three big inbound marketing methods, blogging, social media, and SEO, in comparison with outbound marketing like direct mail, telemarketing, and yellow pages, inbound marketing costs much less. Number three is inbound, gen, uh, inbound marketing converts better. Uh, you know, if we take SEO as an example, lead to customer close ratio with SEO is 15% versus with traditional outbound marketing is at about 2%. So those are the benefits of inbound marketing. And I also talked heavily about nurturing, uh, capturing and nurturing leads. And companies that excel at lead nurturing on average will generate 50% more sales ready leads at 33% less cost. Uh, nurture leads also make larger purchases, on average 47% larger than non-nurture leads. So overall, the benefits of fixing the, the issues that I found with your, your website is one, you can expect to get more leads, um, the leads will cost you less, and the leads will convert much better. So I've covered the uh, issues I found with your website and I've covered the benefits of uh, of fixing these issues and you know it looks like your company is doing is doing great work um, but honestly I, I do believe that these issues are costing you a lot of customers and money and these issues are all issues that can be easily fixed so what I recommend doing is give me a call at this number or shoot me an email and I can answer any questions you might have and we'll schedule a, a uh, free consultation where I'll go over these um, these issues in depth with you and can tell you more about inbound marketing and I can tell you how you can fix these issues yourselves if, if you so choose um, and then if you choose to hire me then uh, I'd love to fix these issues for you you're not obligated in any in any way at all so go ahead pick up the phone and give me a call and let's get these issues fixed and get more leads and more uh, money coming into your company